When the Second Avenue subway was first proposed, Woodrow Wilson was president. Now, after decades of delays, inactions, and embarrassing cost overruns, this much-needed subway is finally on track. It debuts at noon on New Year's Day. Eyewitness News reporter Josh Einer live on the Upper East Side. Josh. Bill, we're experiencing something so few New Yorkers have ever experienced, the chance to smell new subway smell. That's what we got now, four stops up and down 2nd Avenue that are now part of the Q line. That's far, at least uh, uh, as of Sunday at noon, and it is long overdue. They aren't rolling quite yet, but tonight the public is getting to see and touch trains, actual subway trains under 2nd Avenue, a day practically no one thought would ever come. I'm in tears. I mean, it was just, it's great. I live in the neighborhood and I've watched this thing, you know, stalled and move and stall and move and, and it looks beautiful. But after literally 106 years, 106 years of births and funerals, of plans and groundbreakings and delays and new groundbreakings, the Second Avenue subway is finally here. It's been five generations of New Yorkers living for the promise of the Second Avenue subway and proud to be here when it's being delivered. The service will start Sunday at noon, New Year's Day. They're calling that on schedule. If you forget the decades of delays that preceded, the decade of construction that has finally ended. And strap hangers are grinning from ear to ear. You see people just walking around smiling. Yeah, <laughs> it's great because it will reduce some of the traffic. It's important that we show ourselves we can do great things. We can get it done on time. This is New York. There's nothing we can't do. How long do you think it'll smell this good? Uh, I think we're going to use a lot of air fresheners. <laughs> so here's the schedule of events here. You're looking now at what's to come in the next week on Sunday, on New Year's Day at noon. That's when Q service will start at these four new stops. That's 63rd and 3rd, and then 72nd, 86th, and 96th, and 2nd Avenue. Uh, starting uh, on Monday, the 2nd, there's going to be service from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, for about a week, and where they work out the kinks. And then the following Monday, uh, there will be service 24-7. Coming back to a live picture right now, a lot of new features, new amenities here uh, at this particular subway station. You can charge your devices with USB power here on this device, this screen, which is actually an interactive screen where you can see moving uh, subway maps. A lot of changes that are, of course, long overdue, but very, very welcome. And they're probably going to need a lot of air freshener in the long run, too. We're live on the Upper East Side. Josh Oniker, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Oh, but cherish that new subway smell in the meantime. <laughs> All right, Josh, thank you.